Hey guys, good morning and welcome to today's vlog. So I'm getting ready to put my clippings in my hair and today is just a simple morning routine. Gotta cook, gotta wash clothes. This is the weekend so everything needs to get done for the upcoming week. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling, hanging out. It's a chilly morning in Texas. I have not put my clippings in. So yeah, this is how my hair typically looks before and then I just put clippings in. Very simple hairstyle. Anyway, you guys won't be seeing much of me because You'll mainly be seeing my hands and me doing stuff because I gotta try to get things done by like one o'clock. I like to have everything in the house done. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's get started. Do you guys remember the wig that I <laughs> straightened out? Spent literally an hour, like, well, a couple hours washing, conditioning, and straightening. So it rained at work. We got rained out yesterday and this is what it's looking like some parts of it are okay but like the back is extremely knotted up and i knew i shouldn't have wore this wig because he was like oh it's gonna rain but i just didn't think this would happen i mean it was so bunched up i was really trying not to be like a diva at work and trying to like you know comb out my hair while i was at work but it wouldn't work but um yeah, so these parts are pretty easy to take care of. I just kind of take my brush and blow it out a little bit more and then pass through the flat iron. But this part right here, this is going to be really hard to, to fix. It really is. Oof. Like, I'm just, I'm literally dreading it right now. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of work on this computer. So my other computer right now is uploading a video on YouTube. It's about 12% done. So I'm over here watching Brett Cap. I think that's his name. Um, I am also looking into getting another computer. This one is cool, unless I can buy some more storage. If I can buy more storage, then I will just keep this. This one has 500 gigs on it, but for some reason, like it just like I constantly have to delete videos and restart this computer over and over and over again so i'm not sure if it's external or internal i'm not really sure how that works but yeah i just get so tired of having to constantly 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 do this and um but i mean it doesn't run super slow sometimes it does but my imac ooh, my imac runs extremely slow i guess i better get started on the laundry we keep the laundry outside now i used to keep it in a room but you know and now it's me and his clothes and i actually so my pants got really muddy yesterday this is nothing the other part is really muddy over there i gotta go like wring these out i mean you know like flap it outside so that all the dust doesn't get in the washing machine these are uh, Bulwark FR. FR just stands for fire resistant. If you work in a plant, you have to wear fire resistant clothes. And it is chilly outside. Okay, gotta start this up. Let's see. Hot, super, normal, blah, blah, blah. I always put it on hot. I don't know if that's right or not. It always says that when I'm going to pop it, but. I do it like this so that I can remember to, um, to wash it. I mean, so I can remember to put the stuff in there. <laughs> I'm going to start on some breakfast. I need to wipe down the counters right quick and then get started. I'm just going to make uh, bacon, potato, onion, bell pepper, garlic, you know, um, type of like fry with eggs. And then we'll have the option of tortillas, so I'm going to toast some at the end. And then he'll be getting up in about an hour, so I'll be making some coffee for both of us. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to use the last of these potatoes that I got. And then he went and bought a new bag last night. He had to go, his friend needed to borrow some money, so he went last night to go lend him some. And um, he also ran and got groceries, so that's good. Um, I just used simple russet potatoes. These are by Lone Star. 
them. I get them from H-E-B. And I just use this adorable little potato pillar to peel the potatoes with. So, and it's very easy. My mom is really old school, so she doesn't like, you know, she uses a knife and she's a pro at it. But I just never really got good at using a knife to cut my potatoes with. Potato is really small and soft. It's it's no good really, maybe, but it's okay. Like they don't that's not it going bad to me. But I don't know guys. I don't know. It still smells good. Nothing's obviously wrong with it and I'm not trying to be super wasteful. And no not being wasteful doesn't mean being cheap. It just means that you know, my bo like I'm obviously used to this. I used to eat whatever. I was not a picky eater when I was a kid because you couldn't be super picky when you had really no food to eat <laughs> a lot of the time. So, I mean, not that we just didn't have food. We were just very limited on food, but we were always fed. Okay, so the washing machine is actually done. Well, it's done filling up, so now I gotta go add the soap and the clothes to it. Does anybody else do it like that? Like, I know people that add the soap first, but um, I wait to add it until all the liquid is in there. And then I add it and then I add the clothes to it. So yeah, I'm gonna finish doing this and then come back to y'all. And I just wanna say, I don't peel my potatoes super perfectly. If Even if there's like a little bit of rind on there, that's fine with me. So if you guys are like OCD about things like that, Sorry, <laughs> I just do a rough, I mean, I don't even consider this rough at all, but some people would because they need to get like all the skin off and it's just not that big oh, of a deal to me. I wish this thing would stop rotating. That is the only thing I don't like about this potato cutter. It rotates a lot sometimes. Okay, I'll be back. So I start with the potatoes first to cut because they take the longest. Now if I'm really, really, really in a hurry, I'll boil them first. Like I'll chop them up and boil them. Uh, I'm just going to let them pan sear for a while with oil in the pot. So it's kind of like a little boil to get that going. So um, I knock out the potatoes first and I'm not even using um, <laughs> the correct knife for this I, this is just the one that i have available right now so yeah this is the way i cut them and i'll just place it in there three cuts sometimes four half in it and then keep going and uh, yeah and then I'll, I'll usually like break them up later well, that one should be two what is this I hate putting my hands in there. I just basically half in. Ugh, why is this thing so damn, you know, let's set this up here. It's too slippery right now. And then cut, 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 cut. Yeah, like this right here is too thick. So, cause when it's thick, it just takes it longer to cook and I don't feel like babysitting today. Um, I put the fire on like a medium high and uh, get going because <laughs> you know how it is when you just got things to do today like I always make sure I got something to do especially on the weekends because you know a lot of work and tomorrow is our only day to finish up all the week's tasks and things so yeah it's this blue handled knife that i like using by the way these knives are from favorware i put them in dishwasher a couple times and i really shouldn't have and um yeah these knives are amazing amazing i've been using them for years they are super sharp 
So if you're, so Fableware has like some of the best products. This is not sponsored or anything. Like I've been using their blender for four years. It's a $20 blender that I got from Walmart. Um, it's one of the very few brands that are reasonably priced affordable like everybody likes to call it and they work it works so well with everything like everything i've ever gotten from there like i would trust a faberware coffee maker just everything they do i would trust with me and him i wash our clothes separately because number one i don't wash i before he was here i used to wash my clothes honestly i would wash clothes maybe like once every three weeks to a month just because i wear my items a couple times because i don't have a strenuous job and a strenuous life and all i do is lounge around in my clothes so i really don't feel the need i feel like it's wasteful to just be washing clothes every week especially as much clothes as i have um now before when i used to wear like a lot of the same stuff all the time okay i was washing and then when i was working out a lot i was washing basically every week but now but before that i was only doing every few weeks and now i'm back to kind of doing that so my job you have a uniform basically but but you can wear anything you want as long as you're wearing fr you're good so i have a lot of fr outfits and this is gonna oh yeah this is gonna be a big um kind of like fry i guess you would call it because this one's a thick piece all right guys we are almost done you know i'm thinking about buying one of those like choppers because i feel like what i'm doing right now is so old school it's even like too old school for me i feel like i could have gotten this done in like a third of the time my mom actually has one and she cut herself though on it like and she's been cooking for 60 years <laughs> almost 60 years and like um so whenever i see my mom get a cut i'm like oh no this thing is definitely not like not for me <laughs> because you know she's just been cooking for so damn long <sighs> i'm letting that cook a little bit and then i get started on the vegetables so the bell peppers take the longest i like my bell peppers to be really really cooked because I don't like that fresh taste in my food. Like if it would be different if I was like eating it with like ranch or something. But like other than that, I don't like the fresh taste of bell pepper. So um, let me go clean this out. I typically will cut off the butt part first. And then I'll cut off this little butt too. <laughs> A little butt. Guys, I have so much stuff to edit. <laughs> This October has been crazy. Like so much, I don't, I haven't filmed this much in a really long time, you know? The only thing that's been really holding me back from filming is the editing part. And you know, somebody did mention that I should go on Fiverr and find a person to edit. I just really have to trust that person because sometimes I be having stuff in my vlogs that I really don't want to watch. And then, I mean, that I really, like not like bad stuff, just things in my apartment. And I would have to make that super clear with them to trust them to like, you know, have access to all that. And then on top of that, like, I don't want to have to pre-edit the video for them, you know? Um, Okay, now it's coming to a sizzle, and I gotta season this stuff too before I forget. Yeah, I'm gonna use a whole bell pepper in this because I like mine with a lot of vegetables in it. And this is a really delicious meal, guys. You really don't even need meat in this. I'm just doing it because he likes meat. But growing up, my mom cooked a lot of meals without meat because... Sometimes she would go through phases where she just was wanted to be vegetarian. She wanted to do all kinds of different things. I wish I had a crock pot. I feel like that I need one of those too. You know, I'm thinking about a lot of things <laughs> to make my cooking life a lot easier. 
you know, because when I have kids, I want to make sure that I can cook them meals all the time, but that I won't be stressed out by cooking, but that I enjoy it, you know. I can still enjoy it when, but also like, you know, have time for myself. Because this stuff takes hours, and I'm really trying to think of different ways to eliminate being stressed <laughs> before that time comes. Okay, so there's that. Next, we'll do the garlic. You know, let me just season this right now, actually. So, um, and because the warm weather is coming, that's gumbo weather, in my opinion. <laughs> Okay, so I got Creole seasoning from Tony Saturn's. Tony Saturn also, if you guys like gumbos, they make an amazing roux mix. Like, if you just don't have time or you don't know how to make a roux and you're scared, that's amazing. I use this Lari's garlic salt, uh, cayenne pepper, and uh, just some type of lemon pepper seasoning. So, yeah. So, I just put that in there you know what I'm not about to use those little bitty squares I'm just gonna spread it in there like that there we go and red pepper he loves spicy food I like my food a little spicy but like nothing too crazy like him okay a little bit of Tony Saturns and some garlic salt. Okay, and we're good. So while that's cooking, I'm going to stir it up later, but let me just, I need to get started on some other things for the house. Like I need to go sweep the floor so I can prep it to mop and everything today. And then let this simmer down because I cook it like this, but then I kind of bring it to a boil. And it's so funny because you guys always ask me, Chinyari, are you ever going to use uh, like cooking utensils? And I'm like, no. I mean, maybe one day if I'm out shopping and I see some utensils, I'm like, okay, let me go buy that. But no, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. Oh my goodness. So guys, um, talking about October, seasonal depression and all that, um, I, I don't want to jinx myself, but... I haven't even been taken to D3, so if you guys don't know, vitamin D3 really helps with, like, depression. It's, like, temporary depression. I don't even know if you would call it that, but basically, like, it helps with any type of depression. And it, it helps, like, mood stabilize you to feel better. So I haven't even been taking that or anything. Um, <laughs> and basically, me just keeping myself active. Now, this is just for me. I'm not saying for anybody else, but I'm just saying, like... You know, I have my little passion project going on. And um, and also, I've been working. So I highly, highly suggest keeping yourself busy if you're known to have something like this. You know, try to do something. Try to hang out with friends who are non-toxic. If you're in high school and you don't have a job or anything, start a YouTube channel, you know, about something that you're passionate about. It could be anything. As long as you're passionate about something, you'll do good and you won't feel depressed by your channel people who are like stressed out about their channel are not happy with it are people who just want it to be successful they're not really doing it because they just genuinely love it and that's when youtube becomes a task you know you want people to watch you you want people to follow you you want people to like you blah blah, blah. Well, people will naturally gravitate towards you when they see that you're doing something natural that you just like um, doing. <laughs> but they can, like, smell it a mile away when they see that you're just, you know, 
and then you feel better about your content you won't even be worried about views or anything guys i haven't cared about views in so many years because i just been chilling all i do is what i love all i post is what i love all i do is post you know so i love myself i post about myself people are interested in me i post about it i like cooking food jobs making money blah blah, blah. so that's what i post and i don't make any money from it but i like it so i do it very very easy and i don't let this like i don't let youtube stress me out the success of my friends on youtube doesn't matter i don't care not that i don't care but you know what i mean it i wouldn't i don't use that towards me it's it is what it is it's cooking i'm going to turn it down just a little bit so that it doesn't boil out and we're gonna do, oh, this thing keeps falling. Half an, a white onion and half a yellow onion. So white is definitely more flavorful and yellow is more sweet and a little bit more of a mild taste. So I like to do either one. Ooh. This one is big. That part, my eyes just started watering. All right, I don't have time to give this a tender, loving care type of cut. You gotta go. Nice and choppy. <laughs> my eyes are burning and watering like crazy right now. <sighs> Okay, that was really hard <laughs> to do. So now that everything's basically done, um, we're just gonna let that cook. Okay, so now that everything is pretty much done, we're just gonna let this simmer and cook down for an hour or maybe like 40 more minutes. I'm not even sure how long, but you know how you can just tell <laughs> how long things need to cook things start getting soft and whatnot. I literally chopped this close in my eyes because it was so strong. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit more and um, let all this cook down. I know it seems like I have more vegetables than potatoes, but like I said, you know, everything will cook down. I'm gonna cover this and then um, after it's all done, I will fry some bacon or some sausage or something and then scramble some egg to go along with it and then he'll have like the option to eat it as a burrito or just by itself. That's how we ate it last time. All right, I'll be back. Dryer's going, um, the cooking's going, a video is currently uploading still to YouTube. So while that all that's happening, um, get started on the dishes because I ran a dishwasher last night. Okay, I got these cups at Ross, these bowls at um, Dollar Tree. I don't know what is that. These plates and this bowl set from Ikea. And those bowls up there, I'm not sure where I got those at. I think all of that up there is from Dollar Tree. <laughs> not even kidding. Okay. Guys, so 
a uh, little food update <laughs> everything like all the vegetables and things have cooked down and almost disappeared we wouldn't even know there's barely any vegetables in here it's been about 30 minutes a little over and we still got about 20 more minutes to go like i said i cooked these for about an hour and um i have already added in a little bit more water and i've kept it covered um, the reason why I do it like this, I kind of fry it, is because I don't want the potatoes to turn into mashed potatoes. So I leave, like, I let the water cook out, keep oil in the pan, and I have to stir it ever so often. But yeah, um, when, when the big pieces are done cooking, that's when I know that everything is good. And then also they're almost like, they're not so opaque and so white, usually. But yeah, there's a couple pieces in here that I can tell. They need a little bit more cooking because they're not super soft. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more water because it can really cook out in 20 minutes. <laughs> but I also, at the same time, I don't want it to become too mushy. But um, the water, I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's more of just like an eyeball. Once you've been cooking a dish for so long, I could never tell you guys the measurements because I have no idea. I'm guessing the whole thing I've used was one ball of water. Yeah, that's an easy guesstimate to say. About a whole bottle. But, you know, you always start off with less than add more because when you add too much of something, it's very hard to go back. But if you add less, you can just add more to it. So, yeah, at the end, it won't be really mushy. Yeah, I just love like potatoes and bread. So I'm gonna go get the sausage out and uh, I'm gonna chop that up and then add that into here. Um, usually I'll microwave it first if I'm too busy and I forget to cook it in here long enough. But the microwaving also works. I'll microwave it first, cut it up and then put it in here and it's, it's amazing. It's really, really good. All right, so that's all good and it's still on a low medium temperature so I thought about it and instead I'm just gonna do bacon <laughs> and instead of sausage so this is pretty much done uh, let's see is it I mean it's done some parts of it but I only have one skillet let me see if this, if this one's if this piece is done then this whole thing is done let's see oh yeah oh wow oh yeah Actually, that's too big. I'm going to put it in here because we're going to end up eating anyway. That'll be a waste of a really big dish. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just going to put... I know I need to use a bigger spoon, but um, I just like realized I only have one good skillet. I, la I, I lost my other skillet when I went to Illinois. I can't find it. And I've been looking for it forever. But yeah, I, um, I bought this skillet from ikea and i know people like dog on ikea but their stuff is really 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 good i've been using this set forever oh it's really good i'm gonna wash this and get started on the bacon okay looks like bacon is pretty much done i'll cook it on a medium so i always start off with kind of like a medium high then I go to medium, then I go to low. Now the trick to get it to not curl up really fast is just to cook it the whole time on like a medium low. And you'll get those results, but I was not in the mood today to be, you know, doing all that. So I did it like this today, and this isn't bad. I can eat it like this, I like it. I don't need my bacon to be completely straight. I just need it to be cooked. And this is perfect because it's not overcooked, it's not undercooked at all and it's, it's just right. So that's done. I'm gonna let that finish simmering. Then I got these tortillas. Oh, sorry guys, it is super hot, but um, they're all puffed out. So this is basically perfect. I'm gonna turn off the oven and set these on top. And then the last step is to just fry some eggs up right quick. I'm gonna make my eggs separate, but I'm getting ready to make his meal first. He will eat any type of egg. So he has a lot of white eggs. I only eat brown eggs. So 
so I'm just gonna do a quick little scramble. Nothing serious. I've already seasoned the potatoes, so there's really no need for me to go back, you know, and over season the eggs or anything like that. But yeah, typically I'll add some half an egg, half and half milk, and oh, that one is frozen. I don't even know. Sometimes the refrigerator is a little um, cold. I don't know. I know this is a little unsanitary, but oh well. So I'm gonna grab my fork. And let me go get a napkin for this and just whip this up right quick. Uh, a quarter to one he's officially up now he's just like watching a movie so now it's time for breakfast and we eat breakfast together so what you hear is the coffee maker that's me making my cup of coffee and I like to add little special stuff to mine um, the washer is getting ready to stop so I'm gonna put the last load in the dryer finish making my coffee fry the egg and the bacon grease and then we're gonna watch a movie together the tortilla okay and this is the cup that I use for my coffee okay here is this my hands are clean so just chill <laughs> And I don't have tongs, and this isn't hot, so, yeah. And then I'm going to put it right back on medium and get to... And usually I like to, like, cut up onion and grill that in there, but we're not going to do that today. <laughs> Alright, time to start making the food. You would think the potatoes wouldn't be much good at this point, but they're still hot. I'm going to have to put some these eggs over a paper towel because of all the oil. Okay, he's got two of those. Put some bacon over here. And then I get one tortilla. Get this out of the way. Personally, I don't eat a lot, so I'll use one of these plates, and he uses that. Mine is more of a saucer, and then I gotta cook my eggs in a minute. Okay, eggs are all done. Honestly, I can just keep the grease, who cares? <laughs> Thought about it, and it doesn't even really matter, because he likes his food greasy and shiny. Hot. It's clean. Alright guys, so that's it for today. We're gonna go eat together and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Woo -woo. I know I never did my hair this vlog. I know. <laughs>